Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent and let's get right into what is about to happen in the XRP world from a price point of view, from a news point of view and just everything that we got going on at the moment inside this amazing ecosystem called the Ripple XRP token. So when we look at the price and what is going on at the moment in the marketplace, it is a mixed start to the week with the majors, you know, we'll need to, you know, avoid the day's pivot levels to bring resistance levels into play. What does it mean? It means that we've had a good start to the week, but we're not we're not there yet, right? I mean, there could be a very realistic opportunity that the market dips again and we get caught out. I mean, at the end of the day, they're whales, right? So they, they don't want you to win. They don't want to make it seem like you're about to win and then boom, they dump on you. Now, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of that right from the beginning of the video because I know some of you don't watch all of this. In fact, I looked at some of the analytics about just how many of you watch compared to subscribe to the channel and I'm like, well, guys, you need to stay up to date with what is going on on a daily basis and I bring 10 to 12 minute videos just for that where we talk about latest news, charts, forecast, and no fluffy stuff, right? Just real down-to-earth, quick bite size information that you can take home. Without further ado, Ethereum is looking really strong today. Now, there are obviously, you know, whenever Ethereum starts to pump a little bit, they talk about, will Ethereum overtake Bitcoin? When's Ethereum going to overtake Bitcoin? How likely is Ethereum to overtake Bitcoin? Now, calm down, everybody, because it is there is still quite a bit to go. Now, when we look at the major resistance is 2,166, 23.6 for Fib retracement at 33, 27, and 1,725 are all the retracement levels. So, still a pivotal level at where it's at right now, but we're not out of the works yet. Now, when we go down to our, our favorite, Ripple, about what's going on and what is happening, and you guys are here to learn about this, um, it did fall by 0.75% on Monday before reversing and having a 5% gain, um, well, had a 5% gain on Sunday and then just fell a little bit short on Monday. Now, we are steering clear of the first major support level at 61 cents, followed by an intraday of 65 cents throughout the middle of the day. Now, it is going really fast. It's it's moving and I think there are some key points and key levels here. Now, the 64 cents does uh, pivot to bring a first major resistance level. Um, and so let's see what goes on there. And overall, when we look at, um, from a technical indicator perspective about what are some of the key things here to look at, you got your first major resistance level at 65, the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement at 85 cents, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement at $1.06, and then you got the 62, which is at $1.40. Now, these are key points to look out. Take a screenshot, write them down, do what you gotta do, but don't forget them because sometimes, you know, seeing a 5% increase, you're like, oh my God, we're going to the moon. Calm down, relax, patience. Patience is a very, very, very important game. Now, if you're a long-term holder, none of this matters to you. Just hold whenever you see a price that you think is good versus what you initially invested for compared to your investment value now, sell. And no one can give you the answer about what's right, what's wrong, when to sell, when to buy and all that, right? It's really important to do your own research. I'm simply here to get, give you my personal perspective and guidance on it and hope that you and I see eye to eye after you've done your own research as well, because I'm not gonna do it all for you. Now, something for you to research if you've never heard of it, if you never um, have come across anything like this, is the benefits of ISO 20022. Now, what is ISO 20022? You need to go and look at it. I'm not even going to tell you about it. It's important for you to understand what that is. Now, the blockchain of sustainability is there, there's more to it than just electricity usage, right? So over here in this particular article, it talks about the, the world of blockchain and where it's going and where it's headed and why it's here to stay. You know, like this whole talk about, um, you know, you know, uh, the electricity is not sustainable long term. You got to look into what blockchain is and it is definitely here to stay. Now, Morgan Stanley Fund holds more than 28,000 shares of the GBTC token. And why that's, in, that's important for you to, to know is that the UK is extremely, extremely bullish on XRP right now. And Europe is extremely bullish on XRP right now. And where this is all plays out is that over the course of the coming weeks, and especially in July, I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on what is going on around the world and then mainly what's going on with this whole digital euro stuff because the digital euro is going to be 
very, very important uh, um, around, you know, who is it going to serve, what technology is going to be used for the um, for the digital euro, because there are talks of Stellar, but there are also a lot of talks with XRP. What will it be? I'd love to know in the comments below what you think about that topic as well. Now, Ripple um, uh, could rebound quite quickly. You know, MSN.com here on the latest article talks about expect to see XRP crypto rebound if Ripple Labs settles with the SEC. In this article, what they are talking about is they're talking about what is the likelihood of the Ripple bouncing after the next NSEC settlement that comes on board and where could it go to, right? And what I find really interesting about our news articles like MSN.com is that it's vague at best, you know, like they, they, we got millions and millions of people that go through these websites. And if you look through this, like it's really average, you know, like what they're, what they're typing and, and what they're saying. Um, and, and, you know, it, it frustrates me because, you know, a lot of people come through these websites to try and find a reliable source. And then this happens, right? Like they just literally get bad information, really. Um, XRP Captain 590 um, put out here a little chart that looks like this. So from what we can see over the next couple of um, next couple of uh, well, days or in the next day or two, about what, how we're going to get to 77 cents and beyond. Really do need to break that 68, bounce off of it, and then and then break 70 and push towards that 77 to confirm that we are going up. We're still. It's, it's positive what's going on right now, but we need to have a confirmation above 62, bounce to 68, bounce to 70, go to 68, and then go beyond. So we look out for that type of pattern as well. We had spoke yesterday about the SEC moves to, uh, to block Ripple from questioning former SEC director William Hinman. Let's see if they do. Um, and also when we look at... Uh, you know, a lot of high profile, um, prominent analysts, the details, huge upside target for XRP. It says crypto asset may be bottoming out against Bitcoin. Now, what they're saying here is this particular analyst is saying that XRP is set for a huge rise up. And, you know, he goes over his uh, initial data analysis and his particular findings on it and, and why he thinks it's going to go up. And it's always really, really nice to um, to see, you know, professional analysts to talk about it and write about it. Um, and I think, you know, it can only be positive when it comes to, you know, seeing that what I'm looking at and what he's looking at are similar in the way that we're looking at these charts at the moment in the XRP versus Bitcoin dominance. I think it's set to um, ramp up really, really, really nice. So Rippling is a DeFi atomic swaps using XRP token. So in the XRP ledger, Rippling describes a process of, of atomic net settlement between multiple connected parties who have trust lines with the same currency. I'm going to keep an eye out on this and, and go over more in-depth into this in coming videos as well, but just keep an eye out for that word Rippling because I think that word is here to stay in the, in the not-too-distant future. Now, let's jump into Atani. Let's see what Atani is telling us today. All right, so what's really exciting when I look at the daily chart is that on the MACD, the fi finally the line has crossed into bullish. And we're talking about like a few millimeters, but it has definitely crossed into a bullish um, segment on the daily chart as well. So very, very exciting to see that occur. When we look at the hourly, you know, not much is going on at the moment or from an hourly perspective, but when we look, we zoom out a little bit and look into the, into the four hour, very bullish, almost towards the end of the Bollinger Band on the upside. Uh, and when we look at 12 hour, the 12 hour has definitely crossed over into a bullish uh, state. Um, we were in the RSI of the oversold a couple of days ago and we bounced off of that, that really quickly. So looking at these indicators and looking at what's going on at the moment here on this from this perspective, um, all three indicators are signaling to me that we are going to be going up from here. And you can tell like by some of the movements that um, Ethereum has made over the last couple of um, uh, last couple of uh, 24 hours. So if I look over here, you can see like, you know, your Bitcoin movement, your Ethereum movement, your Binance, um, Polkadot has moved 8%. Uh, um, you know, most of them are moving 8 uh, and, and, and the list goes on and on and on about some of the latest um, um, some of the latest movements that have been going out there in the marketplace. You know, you got Cosmos with like almost 12%, um, and a lot of them are starting to move, and there's a lot of green. Obviously, you know, after a major downside, you know, you expect this. Um, but look at Kusama, like, you know, 26% um, at the moment as well. So very, very, very exciting. Let's look at the charts, and let's see what the charts are telling us. Okay, so when we look over here at the moment and what, you know, like the kind of lines that we're forming, I think a 10% rise uh, based on the previous indicators that we just saw a couple of minutes ago, I think uh, a swing of 10% is coming. 
but we got to break out of this particular formation and I think it is, it is on its way so look out for for a 10% increase based on that and when we look at this you know I think like I said I do believe that that 50 cents when we hit that 51 cents I think that was the bottom and now we're ready to to upside there have been talks about a 40 cents XRP token should Bitcoin fall under 30 and so finding that final low before going up also be on the lookout for that because that could definitely happen that could definitely happen so just because at the moment we've got a market situation where we're going up and it could continue to go up but if it goes down then we will go down to 40 cents so be on the lookout for that always be ready for everything and this is what i'm talking about so when we look at this particular formation a lot of people are looking at this falling wedge which falling wedge is a bullish segment now 40 would make sense based on this based on you know like the way charts are, um, are made when, when these sort of formations happen 40 would make sense so be on the lookout for that i just don't see it happening but it could be it, it could be something that we need to address now this kind of formation excites me and now this is on the um on the daily chart and this type of formation really really excites me right now because i do think that that 50 cent support played a major major role and if you look at what we got coming up next on the move up is really 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 exciting so be on the lookout for that um you know will you see a 12 dollar xrp in 2021 i think you will definitely see a 10 plus xrp in 2021 and that is based on my research not financial advice and not financial advice but based on everything that i've looked at seen at uh, experience i think you know we will see an sec settlement and 10 plus xrp in 2021 um, we're moving. We're becoming bullish. I'm very, very excited. I'll be bringing to you a lot more information on this in the coming days. As you know, um, thank you all so very much for the love and support that you show the channel. If you have learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And as always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.